For a third straight day, Russia launched air assaults on Ukrainian civilian sites. President Biden says the U.S. will provide additional military support for Ukraine. ABC's Justin Finch has those details from Washington. For three days in a row, Russian missiles have slammed into Ukrainian cities, killing more than a dozen citizens and wounding more than 100. Indiscriminate attacks some military experts consider desperate, raising concerns Russia's President Putin could feel pressure to launch tactical nuclear weapons, something President Biden tells CNN could lead to Armageddon. And the whole point I was making was it could lead to just a horrible outcome. And uh, not because anybody intends to turn it into a world war or anything, but it just once you use a nuclear weapon, the mistakes that can be made, the miscalculations, who knows what would happen. The president saying he now does not actually believe Putin will use nuclear weapons, describing Putin as rational, but who miscalculated in waging war on Ukraine. Meeting virtually with Ukraine's President Zelensky Tuesday, Biden, along with the G7 group of nations, pledged more financial and military support for Ukraine. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin meeting with NATO partners today. We will continue to boost Ukraine's defensive capabilities for today's urgent needs and for the long haul. Zelensky calling on the West to fast track air defense systems to combat Russia's air assaults. Emergency workers scrambling to rescue children and families. The United Nations Nuclear Watchdog Agency reports the Zaporizhia nuclear plant is now using generator power after Russian attacks in the area knocked out external electricity to the plant. Today, Russia's intelligence service reporting it's made eight arrests in connection to last weekend's bombing of the strategic Kerch Strait Bridge to Crimea, which Putin says prompted him to launch that barrage of air assaults across Ukraine. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.